And it's so much more upsetting to get it to. Hi guys, welcome to my chair in the corner with half blank wall and half shelves because it's the best I could do and the lighting is like okay right here. And I am extremely pale in like being right next to this white wall. We're like the same color. But like my hair is blue, so it's fine. Today, I wanted to talk about grades and specifically my fraught relationship with grades, my unhealthy relationship with grades. This starts before my Minerva experience, but the story continues and ends and involves the most resistance during my time at Minerva. And that is because Minerva's grading philosophy is so different to what I had prior and so the way that I dealt with grades before Minerva just doesn't work anymore and it's causing some issues for me. And I've had to really try to change the way I think about grades. And I'm going to take you on this journey through my past to my present self today. <laughs> So, in American public school, I don't know how familiar you might be with it, so I'm gonna give a lot of detail, and if it's too much for you, sorry, but if it, I don't want it to not be enough for other people. So, American public school, you have the A through F, F at the bottom, we skip E for some reason, D, C, B, A, probably familiar. A being the highest, but also A being extremely achievable, extremely realistic. Basically, the expectation is that you can get an A if you like know what you're doing at all, you should be getting A's. That's generally the way grades worked for me all the way through like public school in Nevada. And that was like the main source of grades was just like what you got on your report card on your transcript in high school, whatever. All A's because I knew stuff and I could do all right and I got A's and that was just how it worked. There were also like AP tests or IB tests which are like not affecting those A through F grades but external to them and those it was a lot more acceptable or expected that you wouldn't get a top score but I still felt like I expected myself to be getting above average scores. So on AP tests five is the highest and I got mostly fives because that was just the kind of person that I was. I was good at taking tests basically and that just carried me my entire life. IB involves a much different approach and one that my school was not as good at teaching so I got slightly lower that's out of seven but I still averaged a six essentially so I was always like getting excellent grades you know not to brag just to like set up my impending failure. I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt this frame. Now the frame is slightly tilted down. But, like I was saying, all of those grades were essentially just based on my ability to take tests and like do okay on tests. And the fact that I got really good at taking tests because tests in themselves were like something you could be good at. Especially like multiple choice tests, but even writing like short essay responses. I just was good at it. Because of all those good grades, I kind of took that as like a source of self-esteem because like as a teenager you obviously have self-esteem problems and so that was like a source of validation or like compliments that I could take in to like be like yeah Kristen you're good at stuff look at your good grades like you must be somewhat smart right and essentially the problem is that in comes Minerva's grading system which involves no tests all of the skills I had that helped me get the good grades, which is completely irrelevant. And also the scale of grades, one to five for everything you get graded on here at Minerva, it's not the same as the A through F scale that I was used to, because you know, A through F, you're used to getting A's. On Minerva's one through five scale, you do not get fives. Like that's just not a standard, that's not an expectation. It's like almost impossible to get a five. You get threes and sometimes twos, which is kind of bad, and sometimes fours, which is really good. But you get a vast majority of threes if you are like meeting expectations, which is just a complete change from the scale that I was used to and makes it a lot harder to feel validated. I'm not getting that like 
reinforcement that I'm doing well in the way that I was used to. So I've had to try to remove that as an expected source of like ego or like self-esteem, which has been a struggle. And the other thing is that Minerva's grades are just extremely different in what they're grading as well because like in school you are either right or wrong it's like yes or no completely binary you get that point you don't get that point and that adds up to a percentage of the points which determines your letter grade right straightforward minerva is like evaluating how well you use a skill and it is much more subjective but the other idea with Minerva's grades is that it's supposed to be about feedback. So you get a three, you read the comment, and you should be able to get a four next time because you learn from what you could have done better, right? That's the idea. And so throughout the semester, your grades get higher and higher weight so that your later uses are supposed to have a bigger impact on your grade than your early uses. So this is supposed to encourage the growth mindset. Uh, if you don't know about the growth mindset, check it out. It's pretty cool. Not necessarily what I had coming into Minerva though. And so what happens is that if, if it's later on in the semester and you get a low grade, it is much more devastating because <laughs> it has a huge impact on your overall grade, it feels like. And it's a lot easier to internalize that as like a failure, which is not what I'm used to feeling with grades. And because my old relationship with grades was not at all conducive to like this growth mindset, I am struggling to not look at these twos, looking at them, and just like seeing, Kristen, you're a failure. You have failed. Now this has gotten a little bit better since first year. But the other thing is that now in third year, I'm taking classes in my major, classes that I'm mostly really interested in the subject matter of. And so it feels a lot more personal to be getting bad grades because I'm like, oh, but I'm so excited. And I feel like I am actually good at these things because I'm like so excited and like trying to do them well. And it's so much more upsetting to get it Two. This is a rant basically at this point about me getting a single two. Well, not a single two, three twos on a recent assignment. <laughs> but so basically, the lesson of the story is that at Minerva, you have to see grades as feedback and as honest evaluation to enable you to improve. It is not easy, especially considering that most people here are used to the good grades. Oh man, I just fucked up the frame. Whatever. It's easy to then get frustrated when you feel like the feedback you're getting is not actually helping you improve and to feel like it's impossible to get those really good grades is extremely frustrating when you're used to like just being able to do that and having it be fairly achievable to get the good grades. And in particular, I am trying to not see the grades as an evaluation of my like personal worth because that is my previous relationship with grades. And it's it's a bumpy road, but I think I think we're going to make it. This wasn't really an explanation of Grades at Minerva, but like it kind of was, and it was kind of a rant, and kind of whatever, personal struggles and growth. Um, and those are all things that I try to do on this channel, although usually I try to make them slightly better than this. But if you want to see more of anything like that, feel free to hit subscribe. I would love to see you again. I would also love for you to comment about your relationship with grades because like I don't know if I have this worse than other people like do I put too much or did I put like way too much of my self-worth in grades or is that like a common thing please tell me if my uh trauma is relatable and uh thanks for sticking it out guys I will see you someday if you've subscribed <laughs> bye Oh,